I'm going to show you how to add a timeline in PowerPoint using the Engage add-in. So first you just want to make sure that you've got the Engage tab selected. From there you'll notice the Infographics button. If you click on that, you'll find the timeline uh, here. So if you click on that and click Insert, uh, there's two options uh, for timelines. There's the event options and the milestone option. I will select the timeline events option only because it's more detailed. Uh, so once you select that and then you click insert, the timeline will appear and this dialog window will appear as well. So we're gonna go ahead and close this dialog window. I'll select the timeline and I'll just shrink it down a bit just so we have more room to work with. So what you're looking at over here is a timeline of video game consoles and their date of introduction. So you see the Atari Pong, September 1975, all the way to uh, November 2013 with the introduction of the Sony PlayStation 4 and the Microsoft Xbox One. So the timeline is a great chart because it shows your uh, date related uh, information um, along uh, this timeline in a chronological order. And what's great about this is that it, uh, once you get the dates and the events in uh, the timeline, this infographic automatically draws uh, exactly where those events should take place. So it removes the guesswork and the manual measurement. So if you click on this uh, infographic, you'll notice these two gears appear. If you click on those, it'll reopen that dialog window, which will let you customize uh, this uh, timeline chart. So if I click on this edit data button, you'll notice uh, this uh, Excel embedded worksheet appear. So every infographic here is tied to an Excel embedded worksheet, uh, which lets you update the data. So in this case, uh, there are two columns. The first column is the date, and the second column is the event uh, name. So if I make a change over here, if I change Atari Pong from 1975 to perhaps 2014, and if I change the name from Atari Pong to Atari Super Pong, what uh, we'll notice is um, when we close this, it'll automatically draw and it'll redraw and it'll move the Atari event uh, to the end instead of to the, from the beginning. Uh, the other thing I should mention here is you can add as many rows of data as you like, as long as you maintain the integrity of the spreadsheet here, which is to say these two columns. Uh, that and of course the name of the uh, worksheet. So uh, that being said, I don't need to save this file because uh, it's an Excel embedded worksheet. So it'll automatically update and uh, save the file in the PowerPoint uh, presentation. So I'll close this and you'll see it was Atari Pong 1975. And as it redraws, it'll get rid of that event uh, there and it'll redraw and it'll move it um, at the end here. And I think the date we had put was also September, but this time it will be 2014. So as it's uh, redrawing, well, there it goes, it's done. It's no longer here because we updated the date and there it is, September 2014, Atari Super Pong. And uh, what you'll notice is that the distance um, between these events is direct, uh, directly proportioned uh, to the difference in the dates, in the calendar dates. So I can do a couple other things here. I can uh, customize the color. So I can change the color from um, blue to green. I can also increase the thickness of the uh, timeline. So I'll do that. And uh, I can also increase uh, or decrease uh, the padding, um, which is to say the uh, space um, around the timeline. Uh, so the other thing I can do is I can uh, specify a date range. So in this case, it's uh, an auto date range, but if I wanted a fixed date range, for example, if I only wanted to show um, um, these video game consoles uh, as of perhaps uh, 1990, I can just click here and update the date. And now I have a timeline uh, only showing uh, data um, starting with dates uh, um, uh, in uh, March 1st, uh, by March 1st, uh, 1990. Um, okay, so I'm gonna show you a couple other things too that you can edit. So uh, the events over here, I can uh, align the text left, 
I can also align it uh, center. Uh, so I'll just go back to the left. And then um, the other thing I could do is you'll notice that these uh, are alternating in height just so we have more room to uh, display the information. Um, I can make them all the same height, but uh, as I said, uh, it doesn't leave much room to display the information since there's so many events. So um, I'll leave it uh, in an alternating state. Uh, finally, the event text. I can uh, change the font of the event text. I can make it a bit darker and I can also increase um, the size. And for the event date, I can also change that font as well. Um, I can change it to uh, whatever color and I can change the size as well. And uh, finally, the event lines, I can change the color of those event lines and I can change the thickness. I can make them a bit thicker and I can change their length as well if I uh, wish to do so. So that is the timeline.